Lou has been shopping. I've had a field day because I saw them as I can't eat these in my life. Hi guys, welcome back to Lou's Beauty Closet. If you're new, welcome. I'm Lou. I post weekly beauty, luxury, and lifestyle videos. Be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and ring the bell so you don't miss a video. And without further ado, let's get into it. Exciting news. December, I will be doing twice weekly uploads. Oh yes, you heard it correctly. Mondays and Thursdays, I'll be uploading. We'll be doing looks, everything. We're having fun. I'm not doing Vlogmas, but we're doing bi-weekly videos. <laughs> Also guys, I am running a giveaway on my YouTube channel, please see the description box, I'll be linking the video talking all about the giveaway and how to enter. So it's still open and if you were interested, I am also hosting giveaways on my social media and links for social media will be down below. Today, this was the Sephora VIB sale, I shopped the America sale, I probably think it's the last year I do it only because after working it all out it probably doesn't make any more financial sense for me to do that. A lot more of the retailers that are accessible to me are stocking a lot of the brands that I'm shopping these days so I don't need to but we're going to jump straight into this haul. I'll link up here the video explaining how I shop the Sephora USA sales, the personal shopping site I use and all that kind of stuff, going in depth with it. But anyway, enough waffling, let's get into this juicy box. Do something fun. So first up, I got some things from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I got the loose glitters. How gorgeous are these? I got two. One is in the shade Party and one is in the shade Crystal Cave. Uh, when she did, when they did the promos of these, I knew I had to get them. So this one is Crystal Cave. I also be putting in close-ups, guys. So it's more of a sort of silver with pink reflex. Absolutely gorgeous. Comes in this. They are 5.4 grams, so it's heaps of glitter. And then this is Party. This is the one that I saw and I was like, I need this. It's got like a blue base, but there's some serious multi color pigment reflection going on absolutely gorgeous there's a sifter with the glitters which is fantastic so i hope it won't make a mess and i like how compact they are the matte glitters are a bit thicker but anyway two loose glitters and then obviously i had to get the adhesive i do have the Too Faced glitter glue but for some reason i don't know i just wanted to try their adhesive it's a bit different in formulation i'll just show you guys so it comes in this silver sort of hollow holographic packaging nine mils and they actually say with the glitter adhesive that it is cosmetic glitter glue to keep loose makeup adhered to skin while enhancing the reflex so i think this is actually going to make it look have that wet look but also help it stick so it's in a nice frosted bottle and it sort of comes with like a nail varnish applicator you know the little brush so i really like that method at least I don't have to worry about using other tools. This sort of encompasses everything. I do like how compact it is. Next in my box of goodies is something I get every single time I do a Sephora sale, especially because this isn't, it's stocked here, but not in this formulation. So I've got the Shiseido cotton. Now this is quite a bougie, if you will, item. Um, Stephanie Nicole put me onto this. Um, so Shiseido, normal makeup brands, just their facial cotton pads. They're quite big, they're rectangular shaped. You can half them to make them last even longer, but they're fantastic. They do stock them here in Australia, but they only stock them in boxes like this. So always a must for me. And when you try this kind of cotton bag, Japanese facial cotton, you don't go back. I will, when I've run out of this, I will try and I am going to try the Dezo one because that looks quite similar and see if it's good. But yeah, always excited. Next, we have some items that I was only able to source using a shopping service. So this brand doesn't ship internationally anymore at the time being. They might change, they might not. I saw this. I saw these products and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to have those. As you guys know, I can't resist anything Zodiac related. <laughs> the KL Polish range. Kathleen Lights has a nail polish brand or company and she does nail polishes. She's got quite the large collection and she released the Zodiac collection. So I got my Zodiac shade, which is Virgo and it's a gorgeous gray. I will not lie, when I first saw the color, I was a bit on the fence, but then the more I looked at it, the more I wanted it. And I realized that it is quite a color that suits me. And it's not brown. Yay! <laughs> I'm actually going to paint this on my hand or my, my toenails or my fingernails 
today super excited i also got another zodiac shade and i got taurus i don't know if it's taurus one or two this is just the new version of taurus no this is the original taurus i think and this is like a sort of tangerine brown i don't know how you describe this this is a brown basically brown but a bit more of an orange brown it's really nice color Taurus, we're all, we, uh, Taurus and Virgo are all earth signs, so it's probably why I'm attracted to it. But this is definitely a colour I can see myself using as like an everyday, more wearable colour, so I had to make this mine. And the last colour I got is 1435. How stunning is this? It's almost like a bluish grey. I think you can make some really cool nail art with these as well. So one of these is going on my fingers, one of these is going on my toes, so it's going to be great. <laughs> I'm not usually a nail, nail polish aficionado. So I'm excited. Now I have some items from Mother Pat. Now you guys should know who I'm talking about. Miss Pat McGrath, legendary makeup artist. Her brand is nothing short of amazing. The quality of her products, the design right down to packaging and the product design and it's there. I do have some of her lipsticks already. I did have a palette and if you watch my declutter, I did declutter it. And I know it's a Mother Pat product, but you know, you, you, if you don't use it, you lose it. That's it. So anyway, incoming, all lip products. I am quite a lipstick junkie. You probably might be able to tell. I finally got Flesh 3, the matte trans lipstick. So it's matte lipstick. I love how the products have like this winding old school letter sort of, and you know, like the string bound case. So how gorgeous is this packaging art? First of all, I don't want to throw it away. Um, so it comes in here and this is her signature bullet. Now I did want the um, coloured ones but then I was only, I only think they make sense if you get the matching palette. <laughs> totally a junkie right. So I just got the normal black one. This shade has, has eluded me for the past year or since it's come out. Finally back in stock when I wanted to order so my personal shopper got me this and it's a nude basically but it's a gorgeous. Oh just look at that and look at the bullet guys like look at this with the lips it's just stunning with the it's just luxe it's stunning going on a tangent absolutely gorgeous love it and um, flesh three i did my flesh five that ended up being out of stock so we will probably be getting our hands on that i do want other pat mcgrath lipstick products but i'll just shop that directly from my website anyway so that's one more mother pat items the lip glosses this is the packaging for those absolutely gorgeous i love the way the box is open which i'll show you guys so i got two i think when she first launched them i had like five shades on my list i said blue that's a bit excessive considering these are like 28 us dollars each which isn't bad for pat mcgrath though but anyway i digress they so i got two shades i got one sparkly and one nude i got flesh four and bronze temptation i'll show you guys how it opens so it's like a how cool is that How stunning is this shade? It's like a nude with gold peachy glitter. I love how she's put her insignia on the lid because um, this looks quite similar to the Anastasia packaging. And if not for their name being down the front, I could just pick this up and think it's something else. So I appreciate that attention to detail. I'll quickly show you guys because it's a glass. Mmm, smells nice. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. That's gorgeous. I'm having a gloss moment these days. I've been wearing gloss like at least three or four times a, a week. I, I wear lipstick every single day and gloss is starting to become, you know, an everyday item, especially because it's summer here in Australia. And then the other shade was Flesh 4. Really excited to have a nude, more of a true nude gloss. This is Flesh 4, so basically a nude. How stunning is that, guys? I love the smell too. It's like a vanilla kind of scent, but it's not overpowering. I'm usually sensitive to scents in lip products. It's not overpowering, but these are the two shades I got. A bit of luxe, this haul, a bit of luxe. So not as many items, but definitely more expensive items. I will say there is no skincare in this haul, just primarily makeup. <laughs> and finally, this product needs a little bit of an introduction, guys. So this product, when I saw it on Trend Mood, I saw it and my jaw literally dropped as I scrolled and I went. <laughs> and then I said to myself, you don't need it, you don't need this loot. I kept chanting that mantra, then I do. I got the Natasha Denona Gold Palette. I can hear you guys, you know, clutching your, clutching your purses, clutching your wallets. 
I know it's expensive, but you know, quality. Oh, just look at the packaging. It's black with the gold. Oh, gorgeous. She stepped it up because it's come a long way from the Sunset Palette days. This is the stunning palette. Now this palette retails for 129 US dollars, but I got it for 109 with the VIB sale, I'm pretty sure. Or just 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 over got my sunset palette just to compare it deep gold this is a deep gold and it's a bit matte or satin and this is just pure shiny gold it's absolutely stunning so these are the only two natasha denona palettes i have so it's not bad i'm not gonna lie i have my own safari and lila even though safari is a bit hit and miss those colors are calling my name ready guys oh. <laughs> It is stunning. Now, you'll probably go, glue. do you need that many versions of gold? Do you need that many browns? Yes, I do, okay? This is definitely a palette that you can take traveling with you and you will come up with so many looks. And if your comfort zone is browns with the pops of gold, which, you know, when I go into a palette sometimes, I go for the golds because I know it works on my skin tone and I know it looks good. So how stunning. And you've got cool shades. Now, can we just admire this shade called Dijon, please? This mustard yellow. Oh, can't wait to smother that on my eyes. This this whole sort of I don't know if you call it like a this six this six pan sort of selection here. Gold. This shade Python. Can't wait to get my brush into there. This shade up here. What's it called? Lime Chrome. Cannot wait to put that on my eyes. It's a duochrome shade. And you've got the browns. Like even the browns, they're on the cooler cooler side of the spectrum. So. I think it's definitely going to be good for my collection versatility wise because I don't really have that many cool tone palettes. I tend to go for warm because I like warm shades and I know warm shades look nice on me. Different shades here, you can make so many looks. You might on first glance go, oh my gosh, all I can do is make a gold gold look. No, you can make so many looks here. And even this last row here that looks ordinary, you've got some gorgeous shades that she's thrown in a nice white silver. You know, you can really go for gold. Like, look at this, look at this row here. Look at this column here. It's just gorgeous, you know? Really gorgeous. And sometimes you can look at palettes in, as like a nine pan or a six pan. Look at this, these, these two columns here. Gorgeous, that can be looks on their own. Look at these two here. Look at these two in the middle. Gorgeous. Obviously it's not essential to have a palette that's this expensive. You can find quality palettes that aren't this expensive too. But I like it and I know what I like. <laughs> the only thing I will say that is really annoying with her palettes is how she puts the names on this freaking plastic. Like, please Natasha, we love you. Can we can you please print them underneath the pans, please, please. Because I made the mistake of ripping it out of my sunset palette. <laughs> so when you see this one, you're like, oh my gosh, this is really warm. And it, exactly, it really is, guys. Very nice. Warm, cool. Golds. You know, summer sunset, those kind of shades. This is like nighttime glam. This is like daytime glam, I reckon. This is daytime glam. This is going out glam for me anyway. Oh, it feels so smooth, guys. Oh my gosh, I can swatch that all day. Just look, and now it looks green, right? When I hold it here, it looks sort of red pink and then it looks green on my finger. Oh, this is stunning. Okay, this shade here. Oh. Gorgeous. The matte is soft, guys. It is soft. Tiny, 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 tiny swatch, guys. Look at that. It's absolutely stunning. And you can build this. That duochrome is going to get on my eyes. Oh, beautiful. There is one shade that is repeated, just one shade, and it's called Log in here. But it's um, Igneous that was in the Sunset palette. So it's just the brown. That's the only shade that's repeat. Everything else is new. We'll be doing some Christmas looks with this palette as well as a stay tuned. I'm so excited to have it in my life. So thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. That is the end of the haul. Comment below, did you pick anything up that I also picked up or will you be getting anything I picked? Let me know your thoughts. Love to continue the discussion down below. If you're not already subscribed, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button now and ring the bell so you don't miss any videos. Can't wait to see you back here again, guys. So I'll be, again, I'll be linking the video discussing the giveaway and the entry rules for that as well. Will be linked below. I'm also holding giveaways on my social media, so I'll be putting those down below. Thank you, guys. I can't wait to see you back here again.